Good morning, my dear students. How are you all? I hope you all are safe and happy at your homes and enjoying your video classes. Students, to continue this process, I welcome back to the online classes of Saint Joseph's Academy, Class Fifth, Subject Social Studies, Lesson Twenty. major occupations in india that is industries part 2 presented by durga thapa my dear students today we will study lesson 20 major occupations in india that is industries part 2 students in the previous part 1 we have studied about the industries what are industries industries are the centers where we manufacture useful products from raw materials after processing them for example sugar is made up made from sugar cane in the same way cotton clothes are made up from cotton and the next example is the eatable oils that we use in our cooking they all are made up of the agriculture products that can be mustard that can be groundnut that can be it is sunflower and yes students we have also studied the types of industries on the basis of their size and investment so industries can be divided into three categories the first one cottage industry second small scale industry and the third one is the large scale industries yes and in the previous part one we have already studied these all three types of categories in detail with examples now students today we will study on the basis of the types of raw materials industries can be divided into two categories the first one is the agro based industry and the second one is mineral based industry now students today we will study about these two categories of industries in detail and their examples now students let's study about some agro based industries first of all we will get to know what are the agro based industries the agro based industries are the industries which use agriculture products as the raw materials okay like uh, sugar sugar cane is used to make the sugar cane in the same way cotton clothes are made up of cotton so all the industries which use agriculture products as the raw material they are known as the agro based industries now students one by one we will get to know the different kinds of the different industries that are based on that are that, that are known as the agro based industries now students one by one we will talk about the different agro based industries so the first one is the cotton textile students cotton textile take cotton as a raw material and uh, these mills are located mostly around mumbai ahmedabad kolkata kanpur madurai bengaluru chennai coimbatore varanasi and panipat now students next agro based industry is the silk textile students silk textile take silk as a raw material and students 
Silk textiles are mostly located in Bengaluru, Mysore, Kanjivaram, uh, Coimbatore, Surat, Murshidabad, Varanasi, and Bhagalpur. And students, uh, as we can see in this uh, picture, this is the picture of the silk material or silk cloth. And basically all these uh, silk textile are located in these places because most of the silk is produced in these cities. Here students, next agro based industry is the woolen textile. And as we know, woolen textile take wool as a raw material. So, woolen textile mills are mostly located in Amritsar, Ludhiana, Panipat, Kanpur, Mumbai, Mirzapur, Jamnagar and Srinagar. And students, that is why most of the wool, woolen clothes we are getting, they, we are getting it from Ludhiana, Panipat, Kanpur, Jamshedpur, Jamnagar, Srinagar. So, and that is why these places are famous for the woolen textile. Next agro based industry is the jute mill and students jute mill take the jute as a raw material and jute is used to make the doormats, jute is used to make the ropes, jute is used to make the different types of decorated item, decorative items and so many sacks are also made up of the jute that is used for the packing as a packing material. Now students, most of the jute meal are in or around Kolkata only because most of India's jute is produced near or around Kolkata and the main centers are Kolkata, uh, Rishra and uh, Titagar or Howrah. Students, the next most important agro based industry is the sugar meal. And students, this is the picture of the sugar meal. Here we can see that uh, this is the sugar that is going into the factory for making the sugar. This is sugar cane is used to make the sugar and good also. Now students, uh, as we all know, in the previous lesson we have studied that more India is the leading producer of sugar cane in the world. And in the same way, Uttar Pradesh is the leading producer state of sugar cane in India. And the other, sta other states are Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Punjab and Tamil Nadu. So students, most of the sugar meals are located near these states. Now students, next category is the mineral based industries. Now students, what are mineral based industries? Mineral based industries are the industries which use minerals as a raw materials like limestone, like sand, like petroleum, like iron ore. So all these are the minerals and they are used as a raw materials for so many industries and that is why these industries are known as the mineral based industries. Now let's study about mineral based industries one by one. Students, the first mineral based industry is the iron and steel plants. Now here this is the picture of the iron and steel plants and students most of the iron and steel plants are located near the coal and the iron ore mining regions. And the main centers are the Jamshedpur, Bhilai, Bokaro, Durgapur, Rao Kela, Salim, Vishakapatnam, Salem, Vishakapatnam and Burnpur. So the iron and steel plants are located near these cities. Now students, the next mineral based industry is the railway equipment industries. 
and uh, with the name only we can understood that uh, these are the industries where railway items that means coaches and the other engines railway engines are made up now students uh, all the railway equipment industries are located in varanasi or jamshedpur kolkata and pirambur now students next mineral based industry is the automobile factories and students here in this picture we can see that the workers are busy in making the cars yes all the cars we see on the roads are made up in the automobile factories yes and the students automobile factories are located in gurugram that is gurgaon pune chennai kolkata and jabalpur jamshedpur and nasik students the next important mineral based industry is the electronic good industry yes and these industries are basically located in bengaluru delhi kolkata lucknow pune coimbatore chennai mumbai etc and as we can see in this picture most of the electronic goods that is meet electronic meter electronic pipes elect electronic wire and all the other things that is used in electronics are made up in the electronic good industries students next important mineral based industry is the ship building yes students ships are built in the shipyards as and this is the picture of the shipyard as you can see very 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 big ships are built in shipyards and the ship yards uh, are in india they are basically in kochi visakhapatnam mumbai and mormigaon and all these are located near the coastal areas because that will easy for handling the ships there next mineral based industry is the aeroplane manufacturing units yes and this is the picture of the aeroplane manufacturing units where the aeroplane is the production yes you can see that big big aeroplanes are made up in these type of units and students aeroplanes are basically made in the government owned factories government owned factories in bengaluru lucknow nasik hyderabad and korapur last but not the least the information technology industry that is it industry now students the it industry that is information technology industry is getting the new heights nowadays especially in this lockdown period yes we are enjoying our online classes only because of it industry yes and students bengaluru is its new hub it has necessary infrastructure needed for the it sector and that is why the eminent and large it companies such as google uh, infosys microsoft wipro and uh, tcs that is tata consultant services all have established their offices in bengaluru the electronic city and the software technology parks are here and that is why bengaluru is also known as silicon valley of india now students that's all for today's video class i hope you all understood the two categories of the industries that is agro based industries and the mineral based industries so that's for that's all for today thank you and have a nice day